Hey guys, back again. As promised, I've got a comparison video. Some of you guys like these, some of you guys, eh, not so much. But, um, today we'll be comparing to Hot Wheels. So, um, here's the cool thing. I just realized this. They're two different years cars, but they're the same car, really. One's just a little bit older than the other one. So, here is the 64 Impala. I mean, Impala. Buick Riviera. I've had this since I was, I can't remember, I've had it for a while. You probably see there's like a cotton ball inside the interior. But, so that's the 64 Riviera. And here is the first to market Kmart 71 Riviera. So, and I'll show you that rear again. Now that's something like what I would have liked on the um, Chevrolet Stingray, the old one, the split window. But what's cool is when I, when I hear Buick Riviera, this is usually what I think of, that the rear on the car, how it comes to a point. So, but um, now here's some differences. I'll be up close to the camera. It's kind of hard to tell, but the 71 is a little bit longer than the 64. One major difference is the 64 has a regular trunk lid with the gas tank or the gas cap on the side. The 71 has a higher up trunk lid, a separated pointy trunk lid, with the gas tank on what's supposed to be the trunk lid. So that's just something a little cool. Um, GM, this was a major theme with a lot of cars back in the late 60s, early 70s. Hidden headlights, so that's why if you look at the blister car to the 71, you can see one headlight kind of coming out. Um, the 64 had that too, but I don't remember if they showed that on the blister card. Now these were very common to be seen as lowriders in the uh, early 80s, late uh, early 80s even into now. Now because they're classic cars you don't see too many of them, but still pretty cool cars in my opinion. So, well thanks for tuning in. Uh, comment if you want me to try to compare any other cars, uh, like, um, comment if you think this video is done all wrong. I know you can't really see parts of my face. I'm still trying to figure out the camera angle. Maybe if I sit back a little bit. Ah, there we go. So, and I can't really zoom from here, so, but, yeah, so, if you guys haven't got it yet, and you're still looking for it, I hope you get it. Um, K Day is a great day to find these first to markets. So, and that's all I got to say about that. So, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, leave a comment down in the description. I mean, leave a comment down in the comment box. Alright, guys, that's it for now.